So water and um, wetland related um, factors have a substantial role to play in conflict and stability in countries around the globe. And at our inter international alert, we monitor such changes in context and perceptions. Um, if I want to summarize or present the three most outstanding issues, I would say that um, competition over access and control of water resources is at the root of, of, of many conflicts affecting countries around the globe. Um, there are statistics showing that today over 1 billion people do not have access to water and that the, the demand will increase by 30% by the year 2030. Um, another statistic says that by the year 2025, around 2.4 uh, billion people worldwide uh, will be at the risk of living in areas with periods of uh, severe water scarcity, which could uh, displace up to 700 million people by the, by the year 2030. In addition to natural causes such as climate change, um, water resources can be strained by uh, other man-made uh, or man-caused factors such as uh, rapid population growth, uh, influx of refugees or internal displacement, uh, pollution, uh, inefficient water management and usage. Uh, and this has the potential of tension or conflict spillover, particularly in countries that have scarce water resources or that have not yet made use of their wealth of, of water uh, uh, resources. A third issue would be the large growth in demand, um, a depletion and random consumption of water resources. So on the local level, uh, large infrastructure projects that have no environmental safeguarding measures, as, as I spoke, uh, and uh, also competition over access and control of water resources by uh, different community constituents uh, could negatively affect the quality of water-related services. Uh, they could lead to community tensions and undermine local development programs, either by local authorities or uh, or by civil society organizations. Prevention is should be at the core of, of water-related programs, uh, and uh, and to do that, uh, several approaches could be followed. One of one of which could be uh, promoting a conflict-sensitive approach uh, through raising awareness on it and communicating uh, uh, its importance in dealing with issues of natural resources management, especially with the public institutions. Um, we believe that approaches that are sensitive to conflict, uh, to, to conflict on, on water issues should be in incorporated uh, in, in uh, national and policy level analysis because it, it would help to facilitate stakeholder thinking, uh, to provide equal opportunities for, for development, uh, and to facilitate discussion between all, all stakeholders. A third advice I would also uh, uh, say is um, uh, um, following community engagement approaches, and I've mentioned this a couple of times before. Um, uh, what's key in this approach is continuously monitoring perceptions of communities and all the relevant stakeholders. Um, it is particularly effective when developing capacities of local uh, authorities because it helps to uh, increase the community's trust in local authorities, um, whereby communities would relate to be part of the solution, not just the problem.